Hi there, Michael Eskin here with another ABC Transcription Tools demo. I'm going to be showing you a new PDF Toonbook feature that was inspired by a comment by Hans Jorgen Jensen. And it has to do with being able to create play links to the entire Toonbook on the tunes instead of just the individual tunes. So for example, I have three tunes loaded up here and I'm going to go ahead and generate a PDF with play links. And to do that, I would open up the Export PDF Toonbook dialog and then click on Configure PDF Toonbook Features and I would just check this add playback links to each tune to allow playing the tune by clicking the tune title and then I can set up the instrument. So I'll go ahead and do that. We'll generate that PDF. And we'll go ahead and open that up. And we have the three tunes. And if we click the title, it brings up the player with that one tune. All right, we can play it. So I got to thinking, wouldn't it be nice if there was an option to have the play link actually be for all of the tunes, and it brings up the player with all of the tunes and the particular tune that you started with. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'll go ahead to the export again, and except now I'm going to check this box that says playback links contain entire tune book. And I'll go ahead and generate that tune book. Now the PDF file will look the same. Three tunes, we'll go ahead and click on the table of contents to go to a tune. And now I'm gonna click on the Longford Collector. Now you can see that it comes up in the player, but the next and previous arrows are there, and that's because the entire tune book is the play link for that tune. So now we can go to any of the tunes in the tune book. And we can play them. Now there are some limits on the size of the URL and the number of tunes that can be shared this way. The total number of tunes seems to be around 20 or 30, but there are some other limitations that have to do with Adobe Acrobat, and I want to give you an example. Adobe Acrobat is only able to handle a tune links of about 2,000 characters or so. So if you are creating a tune book, and I've loaded up a tune book now with more tunes, 10 tunes, and if, if I were to create the share link for this tune book, the total size of that share link would be bigger than what Adobe Acrobat can handle. So I'm going to go ahead and generate the tune book for this. I'm also going to add the play links like before. We'll go ahead and generate the 10 tune tune book. And you'll see when it's done, it's going to give you a little dialogue. It's going to just kind of tell you about the situation with Acrobat. So it's going to give you some information here that the size of the link that it had to create for the entire tune book was bigger than the maximum allowed for Adobe Acrobat. And what that means is that if someone opens up this PDF tune book in Adobe Acrobat, the link simply won't work. So this is not unique for this particular use scenario, but it would also happen, for example, if you had a very large tune like one of the orchestral scores and tried to create a playable share link from it, you would get the same kind of a warning during the PDF export. But I just wanted to kind of alert you to that. It doesn't mean that anything is broken. It just means if someone tries to open up that PDF in Adobe Acrobat, then they won't be able to click on the share links. The share links will work just fine if they drop the PDF file on the browser or open them in any third-party tools. For example, I like to use Goodreader on iOS. It'll work just fine. So for example, here I can go to Repeal of the Union. I can go ahead and click on the link and it opens up in the tool and we have the arrows here because again, the link contains the entire tune book. So this is really kind of a major feature addition to the tool and it touches a lot of the code. So as usual, if you find any issues with the standard PDF generation or anything like that, or you run into any issues with this new feature, please let me know.